Hello world, it's the Surfing Scratcher here bringing you another video connecting the world of Scratch to maths. If you haven't already, check the description below for links to previous videos as this one is part of a series. In this video, we're going to be taking the plan that we hatched for our save move type block and translating our English sentences into Scratch blocks. So get yourself comfy and let's get stuck into it. Okay, so here we are back in our Scratch project and I'm still in the card sprite. I'm just going to shift across to the bat. Great. Okay, so what you'll need to do is navigate to the place inside the bat where you can find save move type. There will be one of these like little save blocks connected to it. You need to delete that because we need a fresh copy of it right here. Okay, so hopefully you've gone ahead and watched the previous planning video because we're going to go ahead now and enter in the blocks of code that we need. We're going to do a direct translation. So across here, you can see that I've got my planner, my scratch planner here. And we're going to be taking each of these blocks of English code and translating them into the scratch blocks. So let's start from the top. If the variable operation is equal to the addition symbol. Okay. Now I use the, uh, I say addition and positive in, in the context of this operation interchangeably. So I'm sorry if that bugs you. Um, it's just sort of what comes out. So if the operation is equal to the addition symbol, let's start building that one out. So we've got a beautiful if statement there. So if the variable operation, let's go get that variable. If the variable operation is an operator, we're comparing now. We want to compare the operation. It's equal to positive. If you've been following along in this video series, this block should be looking pretty familiar to you because we've done it before. So if the variable operation is equal to the addition symbol, then we want to check for some more conditions. If the variable, let's go get another if statement. If the variable number of integers to move is greater than zero. Okay, so we're not comparing this time. We're, we need the greater than symbol. Remember, a greater than symbol, uh, the the side that has the greater space opening towards it is the greater side. Okay, so if the number of integers to move is greater than zero, if we leave it as 50, that's going to be a big bug. Then we need to broadcast add positive. Okay, let's get into our events. And we know that that is an event there. We need to broadcast, not add negative, but we need to broadcast add a positive, which will be up the top, right beneath it. Okay. Then we need to get our bat to say that we need to add a positive. So let's go into our looks. Let's say add positive. Add, let's spell that, add positive. Okay, so what I want to do now is after we do a bit of code, I just want to go ahead, ahead and test it. We can't directly test this one because currently our operation is subtraction and here we've only got a, a condition set up for if our operation is positive. But what we can do is just break out this piece of code, pretend that we meet the conditions. I just want to see if the animations and what the bat says works. So broadcast as positive. Cool. So you can see that we had some fire there for our player 2 balloon and our bat is now saying add positive. So I am positive that that code is working as it should. Let's go back to our pl planner here. So we've done this block here, this one. Now we need to account for our third one. I'm just going to duplicate that if statement there. And no longer are we comparing for greater than. We need a less than operator here. So let's go grab one of those. If our number of integers to move is less than zero, it means it's a negative, And we're actually going to be adding a negative in that case. So add negative, add negative. Okay, let's try and keep the consistency. Sometimes I'm pretty inconsistent when it comes to this. Okay, so let's go ahead and follow through what this block needs to say. So we're going the greater than, less than pattern again. So let's just duplicate uh, this whole block here and change it for our subtraction scenario. So if the operation is equal to the subtraction symbol, if the operation is equal to the subtraction symbol, beautiful. If the variable number of integers to move is greater than zero. Now remember, if our number of integers is greater than zero, and this is probably a good uh, opportunity to jump over here, which is the scenario we have at the moment. We've got our operation, which is uh, subtraction, and we're going to be taking away Okay, negatives. So remember, 
Negatives are sandbags. Sandbags weigh us down. We're actually going to be getting rid of sandbags, and that means that lifts our balloon up. And for that case, we're going to be subtracting um, a negative. Uh, so that's when our number of integers to move is greater than zero. So the condition that we need to say here is we're subtracting a negative. Okay, so subtract negative. Pretty sure that if I press this, we should see some sandbags drop from our balloon here. There we go. Okay, because we've just popped in the code to account for what our current uh, deal has happened here. Okay, we need to go ahead and complete the last condition for our code block here. So if the number of integers to move is less than zero, then we need to broadcast subtract a positive. So that's this one here. And let's go subtract positive. All right, let's drag our scratch window here. We're done with our planner for now. I think it's good for us to go ahead and just put this into action now. So we've got this, uh, we're, the bat's waiting for us to input uh, our solution into here. So we're currently on player two. We need to take away six negatives. Okay, so that's, as, we, as we know, that's going to increase our height by six. We're currently on six, so that's going to take us to 12. And that is correct. <laughs> There go those sandbags, and play two is only eight away from victory. Okay, let's deal some cards. Okay, now we are going to be taking away the 10. So, same move type. We <clears throat> is the operation positive, or addition, or subtraction. Well, it's subtraction, isn't it? Okay, is the integer positive or negative? Well, in this case, it's a positive integer, so if we take away a positive integer, we're going to end up with a negative result. So in this case, our number of integers to move is going to be less than zero, so we're subtracting a positive. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. We're subtracting a positive integer. So take away 10, so we're at negative three, that's going to take us to negative 13. And there's our deflation animation happening. Let's do one more to see if we get a different result. So we're going to be taking away uh, another negative this time. So this is increasing our height because we're going to be taking away more sandbags. We're going to add 7 to our height here, um, and that'll take us to 19, so we're 1 away. So let's say put in 19. That's correct. <laughs> there you go, all those sandbags. Okay, so our game is functioning as it should be. We have managed to figure out the logic we needed to get our animations working, our feedback working, and also calculating the number of images to move. That's all for this video, and that brings an end to our series on up, down, flying around. Programming is beautiful in that there are so many different ways to do the same thing. Did you implement say move type differently? Did you calculate the number of images to move in a different way than what I did? Let me know in the comments section below. Link me to your Remix project. I'm super keen to see it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay connected to when I release more content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll be releasing more units in the future, but until then, I'm off to go find a wave. Take it easy.